Hello, my name is Dimitri, and I'm bringing you another video trying to break the OneNote slander that's been going around recently. OneNote is one of the better applications on the market. I think it can't be understated. This app does not stink. I don't know why people keep saying it stinks. And the three reasons that it's actually better than one of my favorite productivity apps, Notion, starts with the fact that it's just simple. There is a lot to be said about the really nice functionality of Notion. You can go around, you can navigate between all these cool different pages, you can have databases, and at the end of the day, honestly, if you're just gonna write notes and have a good repository of different notebooks, shout out to OneNote, because it really does have it figured out. So. On the left here, we have different notebooks. You can add notebooks here. And here you can add new sections. And within those sections, you can right click, make new section groups. And then within this, all you gotta do is drag some sections to bring them in here. Then honestly, it's just pages. And I don't really understand how, when you look at something this easy, simple, basically is a really nice organized way to bring together Microsoft Word if we're being real, plus extra functionality. What's wrong with it? I don't really, I don't really get what's so bad about it because it, if I'm trying to just, you know, for example, take notes for school, I know this isn't the same as OneNote for Windows 10 and a lot of people miss this. If we look at an example set of notes that I had back in the day when I was taking notes in class, I think this is pretty nice and simple. You can have this section of notes here. You can put different commentary later upon review on the right. Um, there's obviously no markdown functionality. You know, I can't do like slash two, but I can quickly and easily do a lot of those same different things by going to the insert functionality. If we go here, you can have always show ribbon, which makes it a little bit more stomachable to me. I don't, I don't really like it when it hides like that on the top. Sidebars hiding is fine by me, but I don't like it when this does this. And there is a myriad of different cool options here. You know, you have your multiple different section groups, you have your multiple different notebooks, you can obviously add short to-do lists. So for example, say if you wanted to have a section for homework to-dos, you can call this class marketing, right? And you can make another page. We add a new page, call this finance, then just put a little to-do here and then you have a little to-do list section. Or even if you didn't want to do that, you could take this, copy it, put it to the side, put it to the side. And what you could actually do is make little sections for it, right? So finance, marketing. And this is just like an easier level up from, from Microsoft Word. I genuinely do not get the, the the gripes about this from like a, people saying it sucks really just makes me question a lot of things because there's even some minor tag functionality within here as well. As you can look through the different things like to-dos or what's important within here, group tags by name, title, section, date. Also Outlook tasks can be integrated within here. And there's nice spell check functionality if we need to throw that thing into an actual meaningful document. And last but not least, you can draw in here. Notion doesn't have this. Notion spell checks worse. It isn't as, you know, just simple, simple. And you can't really draw in all these different ways. Drawing is fun. And I am fully aware of the fact that this is not amazing on iOS apps and Apple Notes ability to do it on iOS apps is, you know, really good and this is only really good on like surface tablets or windows machines that have you know you can do stuff on the screen let's say i had a little pad here i could draw on here and here's my thing it ain't perfect it looks clunky it's microsoft but this app if you're at work and you're like only allowed to use the apps that's at work i would recommend using OneNote. i have many coworkers that do this they have a much better time than trying to mess around in google docs so it's like this is better than Google Docs and most people just know that Google Docs exists. I know we're all productivity up nerds here and we really get into this kind of stuff, but OneNote does not suck. And in some ways, it's organization, a little bit of drawability, it's simplicity. It's just a little better in some ways. Let's give it some credit. And give credit to this video on how to improve your productivity even more.